Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing the Maker Crate and I'm excited to open this up. I usually get very excited for the Maker Crate and to try some new craft. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas and organizational ideas and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this crate. So first of all, Hopefully you can see me. I feel like I blend in. I'm wearing a white shirt. I had a like cardigan on earlier, but it's too hot now. It's like 30 degrees in the morning and then 80 in the afternoon. So we're in that weird like fall vibe. So anyways, hopefully I'm not like blending in with my background, but let's open this. Cause I know that's what you really care about. So it says hand lettered travel mugs. And this just sounds so exciting. When I saw the title, I'm just like, I'm excited to try this. It says discover the art of hand lettering and custom mugs with your own personal flair. So here we go. Let's flare. So when we open it up, this box is so big. It's always so hard for me to figure out what to do. It looks like this. So exciting to see what is in this box. Here's our little inspiration kind of guide. This is super cute. I, I really love that. And then in here, you know, it'll give us link to our instructions but then also just some extra ideas and maybe some background this oh here we go <laughs> it says lettering supplies and this stencil also fell out of it. it it's kind of hard to see but has like a rainbow and some different shapes so it has a stencil and then lettering supplies so i don't know what all this is this looks like some cards maybe and then practicing and some sheets that have some pictures on them so it'll be i haven't had one of these before in this crate so this will be fun to see what it is i'm so excited guys i don't know why i'm just so excited about this one so this is some really fun pens and then i have some this this is a watercolor paintbrush that you can i use it for nature schooling because when we're out my kids can just fill this with water instead of needing to have a cup of water or if we're by a river they fill it up with the river water and then they can watercolor so that's what that is and then we have some paint what's the dual tip brush marker so a whole set of them guys i don't know i'm just like giddy about this one <laughs> why it's so exciting to me and then these cute little mugs i just put water in it and you probably could put you know a hot drink or something but i don't really drink hot drinks so but there's two of them so this is really cute and then i don't know if there's anything else i think it's just filler there's filler boxes in here but that's what's in this crate and honestly i'm just if i haven't said it already like 50 times i'm really excited for this one and to try it out and just i love this kind of stuff and i don't do this very often so i i'm just really excited for it so i'm gonna get at it and i'm gonna let you know how it goes okay so i started doing the maker crate and i feel like i'm not gonna have a whole lot of footage to show you for me doing it because it's a lot of practice, I guess, just writing and getting letters right until you actually want to do the finished product. And so I don't know how much extra footage I'll have. I'll have a little bit of me practicing and just trying out the techniques for the first time, but there just might not be as much like B-roll stuff going on <laughs> in this video, but I'll be sure to give you all my notes and feedback and stuff when I'm all done with it and just let you know what worked well and what didn't work well and that sort of thing. So. Just hold on for that.
So I finished the maker crate. I am hesitant to say I finished it because I feel like there's a lot that could still be done with this crate and a lot of practicing, but I'm gonna show you what I was able to come up with in the last like few weeks. <laughs> it was kind of hard to spend, it's been like crazy like this all over the place here. And so it was hard to find even just a little bit of time to practice and to do this. But I think these turned out pretty cute. So I'm gonna show them to you <laughs> and we will talk about them. So this is what I came up with. So this one says faith, faith hope, and charity. <laughs> I might be able to speak. So I thought that was kind of cute in the pink background. Again, this, like, this kind of writing is very impressive. If you are good at it, you're amazing because it's so hard. Like this one, be kind, which I'm also wearing my be kind necklace. So I just thought that was funny. I did not, I didn't plan to do that. I just barely realized it a few minutes ago. But looking at this and trying to get the thick strokes and the thin strokes is very, very, very hard. And so it took a lot of practice and this is not, I think theirs says be kind. Let me see, I can't remember. We'll look at the picture, yes. So there's, this is where I got the idea from and I just thought it was super cute. But on theirs, you can see the thick and the very thin strokes. On mine, there's slightly thin strokes, but it's mostly like thick. And it's just really hard. I think it would take me a lot of practice time to do it. I think this kind of thing is fun and being able to write in just beautiful letters is a talent for sure. I just, I don't know if I have the time or patience to be able to do it. But anyways, I thought that they turned out cute for my abilities. I don't know if I'll use these cups. I don't drink much besides water. I don't drink really any hot drinks. I don't like hot chocolate because it's too sweet. I'm just not a big sweet tooth person. So I don't know, maybe I'll just drink water out of them. I'm not really sure, but I still think they turned out cuter. Maybe I'll let my kids use them as like little water bottles. So I liked this book. It had good inspiration. And then also the instructions online had a lot of good inspiration. <laughs> my arms right now are shaking. I had a chest workout this morning on the bench and I can't, like my arms are just like <laughs> like this. And I was like, oh great. It's like, I don't do my makeup unless basically I'm filming or going to church. I just, it's not worth my time. So maybe one or two times a week, I like actually get ready. <laughs> Woo! And so uh, I was like, oh great. The day that I lift and my arms are like jelly, I have to do my makeup. So I'm like holding my elbow, trying to do my makeup. It was exciting. Anyways, that with some of these, if they happen to like be jumping up and down, it's because my arms are just twitching because they're exhausted. Anyways, I really like this folder too. It made it easy just to put all my stuff in here for this. And then, sorry, this page is sliding out. And then I was able to just keep everything together in here. So I'll show you a few of the other things I was kind of practicing on. This clear sheet that they give you is really cool for mixing colors and it works really well. So that's what I did with the background colors on some of these. So as you can see this, you can mix a few colors together on, I think this is acetate paper is what they called it. And then you can use a paintbrush and add some little bit of water, which they gave you. Sorry, this is like crinkly paper. So they give you one of these little water brushes that so you can put the water in here and then squeeze it. I love to use these for nature schooling because then when you're out and about, you don't have to worry about carrying a jug of water for your kids to dip a brush into. They can just put some water in this and then use it to watercolor and stuff. So I think those are really helpful. And so it was fun to use this. And so these are a few of the other ones I made. This says enter to learn, go forth to serve, which is kind of our homeschool motto. It's on the outside of our homeschool door. These ones I haven't finished. Well, there is one that I have finished. I'll show you that one first. So this one I put be present. I didn't really love how it turned out. I was kind of experimenting and it's one of those things like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I did put it in for this one instead originally, but once I made this one, I just liked it better. So I didn't keep it in there. So that's why this one's a little bit more bent because it was in the mug before. So I was experimenting, so that's that one. And then I painted this one. I, I was having a hard time coming up with little short like sayings that I like or whatever that are meaningful to me. So I didn't finish this one and then I couldn't decide if I wanted to paint the, this background or leave it blank and maybe do something more colorful with the markers. I'm not really sure, but they do have a lot of these. So there was four extra. 
than what you need for the two jars. So you have six total. So if you mess up, that's fine. Or if you just wanna try a whole bunch and see which ones you like the most, that's a good idea too. And then the stencil was helpful. I did use the stencil. You can draw lines or you can do some arched things. Did I use that on one of them? I feel like I did. So yeah, this one is curved up here. So I used the stencil to help with that curve. So the stencil was very helpful and nice. And then I just have all my papers in here for practicing, which you can probably see in some of the video footage I took. I also made some copies, so I might recommend doing that. If you wanna practice more, make some copies. Obviously my printer paper is not as thick. This paper they send you is, it's really thick, like good quality paper. But if you wanted to keep practicing, you might wanna make copies before you write all over everything and then can't use it anymore. <laughs> so that would be my recommendation there. And then they also have these gel pens. Do you guys remember like in high school, <laughs> if you're as old as me, <laughs> when gel pens were like such a big deal? I don't know if gel pens are still as big of a deal in high school. I don't know if you're in high school, let me know and let me know if you use gel pens. So I tried to use these a little bit, but I wasn't really liking how it was looking, but these are still there so you can use those or let your kids use them for fun. And then again, the markers, I thought they were fun to use. I like that they're double-sided because I used on some of this thinner work, oh, it's right here. Yeah. On this, I used the finer end. And then on this one, I used the thicker end. So I liked how there was some different options there. There's a good variety of colors. And they don't really, they don't smudge. Like I used a pencil to kind of outline what I was gonna do. And when I went back through with an eraser right after I used it, like almost right after, they didn't smudge or bleed off, you know, what sometimes happens when you're doing that with other markers. So I just, I felt like they were very, very good quality. So that was the Maker Crate for this month. And I feel like it's one you could just keep doing and keep learning so much from. And the markers are still good. You know, all you need is paper, where some of the other projects you'd have to get a lot more stuff to keep using them. So this one, you just need some more paper and you're just good to go for a long time. <laughs> so if you enjoy seeing these videos, please give me a thumbs up, a thumbs up. <laughs> I can't talk. And I will see you next month.